I didn't get the apartment. Do you want to be a content creator or do you want to play games? Like this is what happens when you're filming. Like, you know, stuff goes wrong. Figure out what works for you and stick to it. And if you haven't figured out what works for you, that's okay, girl. Just keep on trying. Hey babes, welcome back to another vlog, okay? This week we're gonna try again, okay? Because I was slacking on last week's vlog with showing y'all my content creator process. So this week we're gonna get it together, okay? Because we got a lot of content to create. It is currently Monday, y'all. Why is it 85 degrees? My car says it's 85 degrees. That is literally insane. It's like not even like a nice 83, I mean 85 degrees. It's like muggy, tons of pollen, y'all. I am a big allergy sufferer. So this is not my time to shine. I'm gonna be 100% honest with y'all. I'm gonna try to get my content as quickly as possible. I'm thinking one of my looks I'm gonna shoot outside and the other one I'm gonna shoot inside because yeah, this weather is just not it for me my allergies. I can already feel the mucus. Like I literally just walked outside and I could already feel the mucus just like draining and just, yeah, I took an allergy pill. So hopefully that helps me a little bit. So it's actually Monday and we are headed to meet Cake at Tate's in Clarendon. So the plan is pretty much to, for me to take my lunch to shoot content. And then after that, I might just hang out there and do work for the rest of the day, or I might just come back home and do work. It kind of just depends on how we're doing on time. Pretty much I wanted to share this with you guys because sometimes you don't get to enjoy your lunch break. I'm not gonna be able to sit there and enjoy my lunch break. I also woke up earlier today so that I could get majority of my work done early. Um, that way I can wrap up the day a little bit sooner today because I knew I wanted to edit a vlog and get that up for y'all. So pretty much I just wanted to share with you guys the experience of sometimes you have to compromise your normal free time if you want to be a content creator and you work a nine to five. It's hard, it's rough girl, yeah it sucks, but it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do to get to where you wanna be, okay? And I'm so proud of myself y'all, like literally woke up early, was productive, made my bed. Who is she, okay? I don't remember, this is no shade, I don't remember the last time I made my bed, like getting out of it because I just was the type of person like, what do I need to make the bed up for if I'm about to get back in it in a couple hours, you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> Literally, I'm just I was never that girly, but I want to be that girly because those girlies are more productive Also, y'all I wanted to give y'all a quick update since we're in the car I was telling y'all in the last vlog how I was gonna submit the application for the apartment And y'all long story short, I didn't get the apartment not because I didn't apply for it I didn't even get the chance to apply for the apartment I literally started the application process and then I had a question regarding the rent so if you guys don't know pretty much when you go on a tour they'll quote you a rent that's good for typically two days so I had that but the pick but online was saying a higher rate so I wanted them to pretty much match the rate for me um, so I called them they didn't answer and then later on, they called me back later on and I was at work and then finally when I was getting around to call them again I went into the little site to check my application like to pull up my application so I could finish it and it literally said this apartment has been reserved by another customer and y'all I'm not gonna lie at first I felt so defeated that's why I haven't def like I haven't been vlogging because I was so sad about that like I was literally so sad about it but I realized I'm like Shaylin you cannot be mad when you literally pray to God and ask God if this is not where you're meant to be do not let it work out and God pretty much answered you he told you this is not where you want to be even though you think this is your first choice even though you think this is where you need to be it's clearly not so I was struggling with that a bit like feeling like dang like I finally got to a point where I was ready to apply and then this happens and so you know I'm just a human being and all I could do is just pray to God pray that God gave me the understanding and now here I am I'm finally in a place where I feel like I understand I might not understand overall why it didn't work out but I understand that there's something better out there for me and that's not where God wants me to be so I just have to respect that and move on and but I'm not gonna lie y'all it had me in a little funk for a little minute like I stopped looking at apartments and everything because I was like that just rubbed me the wrong way I'm like God do you want me to stay at home with my mama forever <laughs> like is that what you want like literally y'all like I'm this sounds dramatic but I promise y'all this is literally how I was feeling so 
I'm so glad that I'm past that now. I'm definitely gonna get back on the apartment search process. I did have some contenders that were after that one, so I think I wanna go ahead and re-tour those apartments because like I said, I've toured so many apartments, y'all. It's so hard to remember. So I wanna re-tour those apartments just to get an idea, like did I like it? I also wanna do what I call drive-bys. I like to drive by midday. I like to drive by super late at night. I just wanna see what it looks like. I wanna see what to expect. I'm in a good mood today. I'm excited for this week. I'm just excited to pretty much get back on the wagon. I feel like I fell off the wagon and I'm tired of making excuses. Like I'm just tired of making excuses as to why I haven't been posting consistently, why I haven't been doing this and doing that. And I'm just tired of making excuses. Like, I just wanna get it done. Like, even today, y'all, I literally was like, oh my God, the pollen is thick outside. Like, maybe I should reschedule. Girl, what? Like, <laughs> like what? Like, come on now, sis. I'ma just be honest with y'all. If you are a nine to five girly and you want to be a content creator, there's gonna be a lot of sleepless nights. There's gonna be a lot of not hanging out with your friends, not, you know not going on dates with your man because you're just taking your free time to film and do content i'm still trying to figure out what works best for me and i'm just hoping that maybe it'll help somebody out there who's maybe feeling like they can't do it or you know wanting to see how i do things and maybe possibly picking up some tips and tricks or whatever girl i'm here for it but yeah let's go ahead and head to tate's because we're literally like eight minutes away and yeah girl let's get to this content okay Bryson Tiller did not come to play with this album, okay? I've been blasting. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Like who's here? Y'all, not us getting rained out from the content day. Like, look, it is literally. Oh, you can't really see. Oh, you can see the raindrops, y'all. Do y'all see that? I feel like when you first start out on your content creator journey, you 100% should have someone that you can call on to like shoot content. And the reason I think that's super important is because when you first start shooting content, you're going to be very nervous. You're going to be very like worried about people staring at you and just having someone there that you already know that you're comfortable with is definitely going to help you. I definitely feel like it's a lot more nerve wracking to set up your tripod, be by yourself. You got to watch your surroundings. It's a lot more work in my opinion, as opposed to when you have friends, they can also tell you, does the shot look good? Is the lighting bad? Are you out of focus? Things like that. So I definitely always recommend content days. Now, I don't want y'all to think I'm saying only do content days with other people. No, there are some instances where you will have to shoot content by yourself. But I believe when you're first starting out, that is gonna be what's gonna really, really help you. Because at first, you're gonna be worried about people looking at you. At first, you're gonna be nervous and you're gonna be like, I don't wanna shoot over here. It's too busy, it's too crowded. Me and my content creator, journey now I don't care like there was one point in time where I'd be like oh I'm only going to parking garages and shooting because I'm so nervous like I'm embarrassed I don't want people looking at me but now I'm like I don't care like I'm not doing anything to hurt you I'm not doing anything to bother you I'm just trying to get my content and most people will either compliment you or they'll stare and eventually they keep it pushing so definitely approach it find you a friend a mom a sister a cousin whomever that you're comfortable with and just make a fun day out of it like especially if you have friends who also are interested in creating content get together set up a content day and shoot some content together girl like i'm telling you it is a literal game changer when you do that i'm telling y'all like it's oh shoot i missed my turn once you start shooting content with the same people eventually they'll learn your angles they'll learn what you like and don't be afraid to correct people like one thing about me i like to look tall so my friends pretty much know that already so they know to tilt the camera and stuff like that but there are some instances where i tell kayla i'm like girl it's giving five foot hold on i know i'm really five foot but on the gram i'm trying to get five 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 six you feel the vibes like you feel the vibes and she'll even correct me sometimes like hey i don't like how you're over here get lower whatever so that's why I'm saying it's super helpful to have someone and the more you guys shoot together, the more it'll just be quicker and they'll learn your angles, they'll learn what you like and things like that. But I definitely recommend implementing content days into your workflow when you are a content creator and a nine to five girly because honestly the only way that you can stay on top of your content as a nine to five girly is if you are batching your content batching your content is going to be key so like me for example i shot two different sets of content 
so these are going to be something that i can hold on to and post over time sorry y'all i gotta take my hair down it is so freaking tight it's giving me a freaking headache all right y'all i just got back home and i actually got an amazon package that i want to open with y'all because it actually has to do with vlogging i find that sometimes at night that this camera even though it's good in low light like you can still see me i just feel like if i had a little light to attach to it it would be so much better so of course i went on amazon and i'm like let me see if amazon has something for this camera and girl of course they did so i wanted to kind of try it out with y'all so let me go grab it and we're gonna do a little bit of a review i'm really hoping this works y'all because all the other lights that i have for my camera they don't work on this camera because this camera is so tiny so i don't want a light that's gonna like overpower the camera or weigh it down y'all look at how tiny this light is it does kind of look like cat ears i'm not gonna lie so this is one setting which is like kind of like yellowish and then another setting is the bright white and then off and then you also have the the two-tone so a mix of the lights a mix of the yellow and the white and then the other side is how you increase your brightness oh this actually goes pretty bright and the nice thing about this little mini light y'all you can actually recharge it and it's USB-C which is super important but I just love the functionality of it how it's so simple so as you guys can see this side powers it on and this is how you click through your different light settings and then this is how you brighten it is on the other side but like that's pretty decent so as y'all can see in the mirror this is the light like poking out at the sides so you can kind of see it's really not making the camera super big or anything like that which i like we're gonna have to try this out once it gets a little darker outside and see how she do and y'all i'm about to have popeyes i it's that time of the month and i'm craving popeyes like i have to have popeyes right now so since i'm waiting on my food and need something to do to pass the time i wanted to open my picture that came from shaylin so if you guys don't remember this is from when i did the um art and meditation with one of my subscribers and her name is shaylin and i'm super excited to receive this piece like i definitely want to get a frame for it because i'm so excited i already saw the piece oh this is on really nice paper too like this is like nice thick paper <gasps> It is so gorgeous, y'all. Look at this. Basically, based on our meditation session, this is what Shaylin drew for me. And this is literally gorgeous. Y'all know I am really prioritizing my faith. And that's super important to me. And I just love the abstractness. I love how it goes from like, dark to light at the top as well because of course we have dark days but there's always lighter days and i just really love this i feel like the color palette is perfect it embodies me i really want to get this framed that way i can pretty much like look at it all the time because it's just so gorgeous and i'm just so grateful i absolutely love how she put like flowers in the cross as well like y'all look at this detail now let's go ahead and open some pr because y'all i'm really trying to pass the time because like this popeyes is taking forever like i'm tracking my mom's location like where you at girl where you at let me tr actually look at her location real quick hold on y'all this lady is literally in costco i cannot make this up see this is why you don't let people play with your food i knew i should have went and got my own food you know what we're gonna get back to the pr i'm protecting my peace mom if you're watching this you're dead wrong because i told you i was starving why are you in Costco? Anyways, let's go ahead and open some PR. First thing is from Clarence. I love Clarence. Let's see what they give me. <gasps> oh, I was hoping, you know what? I was literally saying in my brain and I didn't say out loud. I was like, oh, I hope it's more lip oils. I hope it's more lip oils because I love their lip oils, y'all. And look at these colors. Okay, these are definitely giving spring, summer. I'm excited to see how these look on. Like, are they like a true yellow or is it just slightly pigmented? I kind of want to test one out. Oh, baby, this is actually orange. It definitely has an orange tint to it. But it's very faint. It's a very faint orange tint. These are good for, like, every day. I love how nourishing it is for my lips. Do I look orange to y'all? I definitely think it has somewhat of an orange tint. I'm not gonna lie. All right, next PR package is from It's Cosmetics. Okay, we got a moisturizer. If you guys don't know, I have combo skin and it's super hard to find a nice moisturizer. And I really want a good moisturizer that works well under makeup. So this is actually the It Confidence in a Gel Cream. So it's oil control and anti-aging. So this is a ultra light skin balancing moisturizer. It minimizes shines, reduces pores, and corrects uneven skin tone. Okay, that's right in my alley. This is actually the Mason Margiela 
perfumes and these are like a cute little sample so it's like a sample pack so pretty much it's a discovery set where you can smell all the scents and see which one's your favorite next pr box is from jones road i'm excited for this because y'all they had like this bomb i looked they reached out to me and i immediately went to their page sometimes y'all when brands reach out to me i've never heard of the brand um and so when that happens i do like to go on their page and do like my own little research like what y'all giving? What y'all got? Like, I'm not about to waste your time, your energy, your PR package. Like, if it's not up my alley, it's not up my alley. You feel me? So, but I looked on their page and they literally had like this glowy balm thing. And I was like, baby, I want that. Especially for the summer and like no makeup, makeup days, baby. It just eats. How freaking cute is this? Oh my God, it comes with a brush. So this is the everything brush. This is the brush. This is a nice brush. Oh, she's soft. So they sent me two Miracle Bombs. One is in Sun Kiss and one is in Miami Beach. Oh, okay. So this is the bronzer. That is gorgeous. I'm excited to use this. This is going to be give that perfect like flushed blush look. Uh, Mom, uh, where are you at? I stopped at Costco. Then we're on our way down to Popeye. So you... You just stop at Costco when my stomach is touching my back. <laughs> Why should you find you? You got. I ate that Popeyes, and now I'm tired. I feel like I need a little nap or something, like just a little one. The only problem with me is if I take a nap, I be out, and it's already 7:51. Already washed my face. I took my makeup off, put on my like acne ointment. This is the real y'all. This is me literally just being super real with y'all and showing y'all like sometimes what you have planned doesn't always work out like i literally ate that popeyes and i was so exhausted after spent some time talking to my mom and stuff and now i'm just like i need a cute little 45 minute nap like just a cute little 45 minute to get recharged and then i want to wake up and do some editing like finish editing my vlog because obviously it's not going up today. It's going to go up tomorrow, which is disappointing because I really want to stick to a schedule, but I'm going to get to it. I feel like the way that I'll be able to stick to a schedule is once I get my planning under control. So hopefully we'll be able to accomplish that in this video. But yeah, y'all, I'm using my new light. I wonder if y'all can tell a difference. Like, let me take it off and see. Oh, wait. oh my God, it does make a difference. It really does. I feel like it definitely does make a difference, but we'll have to see how it looks once I um, post. But I'm about to lay down for a little bit, y'all, and I'll check back in with y'all once I wake up. Put a finger down if you said you was going to wake up last night after a nap and edit a vlog and you didn't. I should have known better because I'm queen of taking naps and extending the nap, and it was already too late for me to be laying down. But I was tired, y'all. So pretty much today it is after work. It is currently almost 5 o'clock. So it's like 4.45. So we're done with work for the day. However, because I didn't do what I needed to do yesterday, that kind of hinders me a little bit today. So today, instead of focusing on editing like I was going to, I'm going to actually focus on filming because I wanted to film three videos. I actually wanted to start filming earlier than what time it is now, y'all. But life be life in, and sometimes there's just things that happen that, girl, you just can't control, but you gotta roll with the punches, okay? So I'm about to actually set up the living room to get ready to film. We're actually gonna film three videos. So the first video is gonna be a chit chat, get ready with me. So I'm basically gonna come on there barefaced, do my makeup with y'all, talk about some topics. Second video is going to be a spring wardrobe essentials video. And then my third video is going to be a unique low haul. So basically we're gonna be double dipping Honestly, I feel like what's going to take me the longest is absolutely probably the try-on hauls because I have to try things on and get different try-on clips. So that usually takes me a little bit longer because I don't want to mess up my hair. I don't want to mess up my clothes. I don't want to mess up the makeup, girl. And just trying stuff on is just like a whole hassle. I love try-on clothing hauls, but they are a hassle to film. Easy to edit, a hassle to film. So I wanted to hop on here really quick and update y'all, let you know what was happening, baby. I really think that Popeye's yesterday put me down.
So I'm gonna blame it on the Popeyes. Cause I feel like I was good until I had that Popeyes. That Popeyes took me down, okay? Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and set up this living room and get the ball rolling, girl. Also, by the way, I'm actually wearing these eye patches from Peter Thomas Rolf. They're the hydrating eye patches. I haven't worn these in a while. I've had them probably for like a couple months at this point and I haven't been wearing them. So I'm like, girl, you need to start wearing them. Especially because I've been noticing all of the concealers I put under my eyes, they're a bit drying. So I feel like my under eyes need some extra hydration. I wanna be able to give the concealer that I'm trying today a fair chance. So I wanted to make sure like the skin prep was skin prepping. You feel me? Okay, let's go ahead and set up this living room because girl, we gotta move this painting, move this couch. We got a lot to do, okay? Let's get to it. Niggas to count me out. I'm counting my bullets. I'm loading my clips. I'm writing down names. I'm making a list. I'm checking it twice and I'm getting them hit. I think it is never too late to start being a content creator. All right, y'all. I just finished filming my chit chat get ready with me. It's currently 7.18. That took me longer than I anticipated. Um, Honestly, because my mom came home and she had to do something and then also like my camera kept overheating so if you guys don't know with sony cameras if you film for long periods of time they will overheat internally it's one of the downsides to sony but i just love this camera so much that i don't care and honestly i rarely film super long videos like this so just keep that in mind if you want to pick up a Sony. I have the Sony ZV-E10. If you guys are ever curious about any of my filming equipment, it's always going to be linked in my Amazon storefront. So I'll link that down below for you guys just in case you guys are looking to get some new equipment or just want to know what I use. I like the way my makeup turned out. Let me show y'all up close. I think I definitely need to work on my blush placement. I think I take my blush too far down. So... I, I need to stop doing that. I don't know. It's just like a really bad habit. I need to film two more videos and I'd be lying if I said I feel like it because I really don't. I honestly just want to take this makeup off and call it a day because y'all, I literally realized that I need to cook for work tomorrow because I go in the office tomorrow and I literally don't have a lunch to bring and I don't want to keep eating out. <laughs> your girl Shaylin. Hey babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My camera is overheating, so I have to wait. I'm so annoyed. It's almost nine o'clock, so I was kind of zip zip zooming. Um, also, my mics are about to die, which I'm kind of concerned about. Um, I want to charge them. So my plan was to finish this portion of the video, like the talking, charge them so that they're ready for the next video. This is what happens when you're filming, like, you know, stuff goes wrong. You know, I think my camera's overheating too, because like I said, I used it for a long time earlier. Usually when I'm filming my, um, I'm gonna use my fan to cool it off. Usually when I'm filming my videos, like my clothing hauls, this never happens. So I'm thinking it's literally because I over exhausted her earlier and now she's just like, girl, I'm tired. We've been filming for hours, hours and hours. She can't do it for hours and hours. Like, girl, come on. It is now 10.07 and we are on video number three. <sighs> Pray for you all, y'all, because it's giving. I'm not going to bed until like midnight, literally. I'm going to try to zoom through this, get this done as quickly as possible. The goal is hopefully 11.30, so I'll see y'all in a bit. I finished filming the talking portion of the third video, but I am pooped. Like, I need to film the try-on clips for the last two videos but i am so exhausted that i'm just like i don't want to film it and it not come out right because i'm already not really in love with how the third video is looking because i feel like my energy is kind of low in the video and i feel like if my energy is low usually it doesn't turn out good that's the only thing about trying to film like three videos in one settings i feel like my max is two i feel like on that third one i always start to feel like Phew. So I'm thinking for me, my batch days, like the days of film, even if I have to film, incorporate more filming days, it's just going to be better for me to film two videos in one setting. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll go back to the drawing board either tomorrow or Thursday with filming. I'm going to look at the footage, see if I really like the third video. If I don't like the third video, I can still refilm that third video and then also film my try on clips for both videos. I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do for y'all because I'm tired. Unfortunately, sometimes y'all this happens like, and I'm just trying to learn what works best for me and I'm thinking the three videos in one setting is just too much. It's way too much. All right, y'all, good night. Put a finger down if you're tired as H-E double hockey sticks, but you still got up and are headed to work. 
Y'all, I'm so tired right now. Like, literally so tired. Um, as y'all know, I was up filming pretty late. I decided not to film the try-on clips because I really wasn't liking that third video. So I think I'm going to actually refilm after work today. I'm kind of torn because I want to kind of refilm on Thursday after work because I really need to get a video up. And I'd much rather focus on getting the vlog up as opposed to filming today. I'm going to try my little light out. See if it adds a little razzle dazzle. I think the plan for today after work is going to be edit my vlog, post my vlog, and then tomorrow after work I'm going to film that third video over possibly. I have to look at the footage again and then film my try on clips because on Friday I'm not going to have time. I have a funeral to go to. Um, I'm actually taking off from work on Friday. Um, but I have a funeral to tend to, so I might be gone pretty much all day. I just don't want to have to plan to shoot content on that day. I don't know what my mood's going to be. I don't know how I'm going to feel. So I definitely want to hold off on that, on filming on Friday. Um, and then this weekend, I'm dog sitting. So I'm probably going to find time to film again this weekend. But if I can help it, I'd rather just have editing to do. So the goal is to definitely get a video posted today only have a little bit more to edit and then we'll focus on filming the remainder of the videos later um but y'all i'm tired and it'd be like this some days like when you're trying to be a content creator and also balance your nine to five girl you be tired you literally go from one job to the next sometimes you don't get as much sleep as you need because you needed to tend to one job you know what i mean so but it is what it is. I gotta do what I gotta do. Typically, I would edit on my lunch break at work, but today I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna edit my YouTube video on my lunch break. I'm actually gonna edit my Instagram content because I haven't posted on there either. So I have some content from the other day when me and Kayla shot, and I wanna definitely edit that, kinda see when I wanna post that. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on on our lunch break. So like I said, you kind of have to maximize your time. Like any free time that you have, you pretty much are going to be dedicating to content creation, which is a lot. But if you want it, you have to do this. Like it's just what you have to do. You know what I mean? So as someone like me who's like busy, has a lot of stuff going on, that's just what I have to do if I wanna be able to balance both and prioritize both. So yeah, y'all, I... Ooh, child, mama's tired. I ain't gonna catch to you. Mama is tired. And one thing about DC, let me tell you right now. People do not want to let you over. Like, I swear, using your signal is not an indication to people to let you over. Instead, it's an indication for them to speed up. Like, you see my signal on you just gonna speed up. Speed up for what? You're sitting in traffic. Speed up for what? Like, let me know. But anyways, y'all, I'm gonna get in the mindset. We're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna listen to my Bible verse, listen to my reflection, y'all, and get in this office, get this work done. Obviously, y'all, I'm not sharing so much of my full full-time job with y'all because it is a private job. Like, I can't share information. I can't show information. Maybe that's how people get fired and that's how people lose their job. And I'm not gonna do that, okay? Okay. but I will let y'all know when I'm working and things like that but I can't physically show me working um, because like I said I do not want to get fired like what come on out I told y'all I love my job like why would I play with it like that prophecy was fulfilled in him that very day Ooh, Lord, where has your girl been it is Thursday happy Thursday it is after work it is four o'clock and we are getting ready to film again um, funny story y'all. Did I film after work the other day? Absolutely not. I was exhausted. I needed to meal prep. I just had so much to do yesterday that I didn't get around to filming. And this is not how I want my ideal days to go. Like I want to have set days for filming and then go from there. But right now we're in the process of playing catch up. So I'm kind of just fitting in filming where I can. I just have to film today because tomorrow I have a funeral. Um, and I'm probably going to be gone all day for that. And I just don't know what my mood's going to be um, post-funeral. So I definitely want to get my filming done now. And then I can always find time to edit. So even post-funeral, I will probably edit tomorrow or something like that. It's easier to, for me to find time to edit than it is for me to find time to film. Because like I said, filming is just like a longer... Well, I won't say that because... 
editing is a long process too, but I can edit anywhere as opposed to filming. I pretty much film here. So I'm limited to kind of be here where my things are, where my lights are, where my cameras are. So I really wanna maximize my filming days. I'm gonna see how the sun does and how long it takes me because I really didn't like the second or third video that I filmed to be honest. Like I just felt like it could have been better. I definitely feel like I was forcing it and I don't like that in my content. I don't like when my content comes across as forced. So yeah, I definitely only liked the chit chat get ready with me portion. So we're gonna keep that video. And I'm thinking today we're gonna try to film our spring wardrobe essentials video and then if it's not too late after we'll film the uniqlo haul if it is too late then we'll save the uniqlo haul for filming on saturday during the day i need to be confident in my content it doesn't have to be perfect but i need at least need to like like the content that i'm putting out like you know what i mean i like to look at my content from a consumer's perspective and i'm like if i wouldn't sit here and watch this why would anybody else, you know what I mean? Hey babe, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shane. And I don't really like when people play with me. Like, you know. Hey babes, happy Saturday, okay? Obviously, I didn't really check in with you guys. You guys saw me get my car washed yesterday. But then after that, it was just family time. I had the funeral. Um, it was a beautiful, beautiful service. But y'all know how funerals can be. Also got to visit my grandma and my granddad yesterday. They are buried at the same cemetery. And it just, it feels surreal. Like looking at those dates and seeing that it's been like years at this point. Well, yeah, it's been years at this point and it just doesn't feel real. Like you're just like when you see those dates on the like tombstone, it's just like it doesn't even feel like it's been that long. Like it's just so hard to believe. And I was just filled with emotion yesterday. So I decided to take it easy. I spent time with Eric yesterday. But today we're about to have some Saturday fun. I was about to say Sunday fun day, girl. We're having some Saturday fun. We're actually about to go to Georgetown and go to the flea market with my cousin. I'm super excited because I've never been to a flea market. I wanted to show y'all what I'm wearing really quickly. It's a super simple, easy fit. I'm just wearing this top from Amazon. Leggings are from Target. Bag is Dagny Dover. And then I'm wearing um, my New Balances. I've had these for a while and I haven't worn them in a minute. So I was like, girl, just pull these out. I wanted to wear a crossbody bag because I want to be like hands-free while I'm out and shopping. I don't want to have something like on my shoulder. The weather outside is... I think like 70 so this is like perfect it's not warm enough to have like my arms out but it's also not cold enough to have on a full-blown jacket so this is perfect I'm actually also dog sitting y'all I just went and walked him so he'll be good for a couple hours then we'll go back we'll walk him and then I'm actually going to spend the night with him y'all I'm a certified dog walker okay don't book me because I'm not available I already got too many dogs on my roster so you can't book me but book me, okay? I'm actually waiting for my cousin to come. I'm actually about to check her location. Um, Cause she was like, we need to be there early. We need to be there early. And then she late. Well, I was late first, but. Oh, she's close by. Okay, she's close by. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys these um, new sneakers that I got. Hold on, let me show y'all that. If you guys watched my spring wardrobe essentials that I was actually gonna get another pair of Sambas and we have gotten them. Y'all, I am in love. Okay, these are so gorgeous. I am not gonna let these get all dingy and dirty like my current ones because these are just too freaking cute. I'm obsessed with the colorway. They're just so cute and comfortable. I cannot wait to wear and style these. And scent of the day is actually this Seven Virtues. This is in the scent Santal Vanilla. Kayla put me onto this. It smells so freaking good. I'm obsessed with it. I'm mad that I didn't get the big bottle during the Sephora sale, but maybe I'll ask for it for my birthday because I'm just obsessed with this scent. It smells literally so freaking good. And it's actually more on the affordable side when it comes to perfume. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this one. I really love this scent. <laughs> It was not forty dollars. Right. It was um. All right, thirty-eight. 
It was eleven dollars. Y'all, this drink is good, but it's not eleven dollars good. Mm -mm. Y'all, and Kayla got the spicy tuna cotta. I, I don't do avocados. So I wasn't getting nothing from here. It's very underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> It's good. It's worth it. <laughs> hey babes and happy Sunday. It is Sunday morning. I know y'all only saw like a little mini montage of us in Georgetown yesterday. And honestly y'all, I ain't buying nothing. Like I only bought one ring, like one gold ring, which I don't even have. I left it at home. Um, and then I bought Joe the juice. That was it. I'm proud of myself, girl, because baby, if saving money was a person, it's like, no, let me not hype myself up like that. But um, yeah, I didn't really find anything. Um, the flea market was actually like quite small. Like the first one we went to was quite small. I forgot what it was called, but I'm sure you guys saw in the last, um, the montage, I put the name of it. And then we went to a second uh, flea market, which was called Eastern Market. And they just didn't have a ton of like clothes and stuff. It was more so like you had a lot of jewelry vendors, a lot of artwork vendors, and a lot of food vendors, candles, stuff like that. But they didn't have like a ton of clothes. Like the first one I would say had more clothes, but it was really small. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So I didn't really buy anything. My cousin bought some jeans. She got a ring as well. Jeans, a ring, and I think that was pretty much it, y'all. Like it just wasn't, it wasn't a ton. I would have loved to go on a Sunday because I think on Sundays it's probably a little bit better. I just have too much going on today. So obviously this morning we're going to church and you guys know I'm currently dog sitting right now. I spent the night over with the dog last night. So I'm actually still headed to church from there. The plan is to go to church, come back, walk him, feed him his lunch. And then we're getting lunch with Tia. I haven't seen Tia in so long, y'all. Like haven't seen her in so long. Just been super busy, our schedule's having a line, and I'm super excited to see her and catch up with her. This vlog was supposed to again be centered around creating content, and it's just funny how like, life be life in. I'ma do anything to push back editing. That's what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm telling you right now, once I need to really get on my YouTube and social media grind so I can hire an editor, because I feel like for me, that is very much so where I can use a resource. I'm just a little nervous about that if I'm being honest, like because an editor is gonna see a lot of personal information, obviously some stuff I clip out that you guys don't see, blur out certain things if it involves like showing maybe where I live, places I frequent, things like that. So I'm just a little nervous to kind of let a stranger do that. Um, so that's the only thing that concerns me about getting an editor, but I would just kind of have to you know, make sure the editor signs an NDA or whatever the case may be or some type of legal document binding them to basically not disclose any like personal information about me. I think that's the scariest part, which is why I would love for a family member or a friend to be able to edit my videos and I pay them, but I've been asking around and nobody seems interested, so. And that's fine, I respect it, but I'm just like, that would be so much easier. Y'all, Eric swears up and down he's gonna learn how to edit and edit my YouTube videos. But that man already got so much going on. I'm like, how you gonna edit my YouTube videos? Like, nah, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Like, thank you, babe. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the effort to help, but I just know you're too busy as well, so. But yeah, y'all, I am going to head to church. I'm gonna get this word in, and then I will talk to you babes later. Oh, look who it is. We don't know her anymore. <laughs> So we're getting food at Earl's. We got the truffle fries. Tia got the Benedict. Yeah, crab cake Benedict. I got salmon and some vegetables and rice. Okay. Period. Not what I wanted, but it is what you want. I'm trying to be skinny. It's what you want. It's not. What you I'd want? prefer like chicken and waffles. Or like a burger and some fries. Oh wait, we did get truffle fries though. Yeah, fries. So that's fair. So balance. That is, you're right, balance. That's balance. Good morning, babes. We are on the way to the dealership. I have to get an oil change. I hate adulting. Like, I hate doing anything that pertains to, like, a car. Like, you can have it. You know what I mean? Like, ugh. Like, 
I just don't like doing anything that pertains to my car. Something about just sitting in a dealership, like, is just a waste of my time. But, you know, we got to do what we got to do. We got to take care of big Cleo. <clears throat> so she needs an oil change. I'm hoping that they don't say I need anything else done. But <laughs> based on every time I come, I need something else done. So I'm not too hopeful about that. Uh, so we'll see what they say she needs done. I kind of like pick and choose. Okay, if they say this is important, then I'll do it. If it's not important, it's something I can wait. Then I'll typically like wait and then budget it out. Um, so it just kind of depends. Also, funny story. Me and Eric are actually talking about taking a trip for his birthday this year. We were like going back and forth with it for a while, but... I'm trying to decide if I want to go on the trip or if I don't want to go on the trip because it's so last minute, but it is a milestone birthday for him, so I really want to make it happen. Um, I'm not going to tell y'all where we're going because I kind of want it to be a surprise and I'm not sure when this vlog will come out. I really have bad anxiety when it comes to flying and based on all these things that are coming out about planes, baby, it's made my anxiety times 10 and where we're going is a decent length of time for the flight, so I'm just like yikes i hope there's a layover like i usually don't like layovers but in this case i do want a layover because i'm like i need a moment to catch my breath and then yeah then you can put me back on the plane put me on the ground and then put me back on the plane you feel me so we'll see what happens with that but it's just gonna be like a really quick turnaround like i'm talking like two weeks we would be gone um so i'm just not prepared but i just think it's time that i have like a vacation where i'm not so fixated on what I'm wearing, how I look. I mean, of course, I'm gonna put that stuff on. You know what I mean? But I don't need to go buy new things. I have tons of clothes that I haven't worn, tons of things that I could bring and wear that fit the vibe. And then as far as like maintenance, y'all know, the only thing I've been really doing is like my brows. Uh, my lashes, I do still have like the lash extensions on, but I am waiting for them to fall off. Um, so I don't really have any maintenance that I need to do. I am getting my toes done on Friday, which is nice so i'm excited for that um so my feet will be done by the time we go because i feel like my feet last usually a long time so they'll still be good and i'm actually gonna have her soak off my nails because y'all she's not doing nails no more so she's gonna soak off my nails and i'm gonna go back to press-ons just because for me personally all the people that i like that do nails are pretty far and then also like doing my nails is such an intimate thing like i don't feel like doing it with somebody else you know what i mean you just get comfortable with your people and i'm just like when she says she's not doing it anymore i'm just like girl okay we gonna we gonna go back to press ons just help me soak these off and i'm going back to press ons and that'll also save me some money and that's something easy that i can do myself so i don't have to worry about that but i do kind of want to get my brows done for the trip but the only thing i'm concerned about is her availability she literally only has availability like the day before we leave um, and I'm just not sure how practical that is because she's all the way in Woodbridge and then also I know sometimes I do burn a little bit from the um, From the waxing just because of like the products I use on my skin I've been making a conscious effort to not use the products up there, but sometimes baby You know I'm just stressed in so many aspects of life right now like I'm stressed when it comes to work, workload has picked up. I'm stressed when it comes to content creating because I'm so freaking behind. Like, I'm vlogging right now and I literally need to be editing content. I'm behind on all my platforms. Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, baby, all of them. I made a little to-do list of things that I want to get accomplished today and get done. I want a vlog to go up today. I want to possibly post Instagram to content today. It just depends on like my little layout that I'm gonna do. So the app I like to use is called Feed Preview. I use the free version, I don't use the paid version. And so pretty much with this app, I'm able to kind of see how my feed will look. So right now, this is what we have going on. So I can kind of decide what I wanna post next based on like how it looks on my feed. Now for me, I'm not an overly like look at my feed type of person mainly why i do this i just don't want to have too many of the similar poses next to each other so if i'm sitting down in one picture i don't want my next picture to be a sitting down picture if i have a selfie in one picture i don't want my next picture to be a selfie so that kind of thing you know what i mean um so that's really what i'm looking at when it comes to this i'm not really looking to make sure the colors are perfect and the da -da -da. girl i'm not fixating on that because one thing i've learned fixating on that will have you not posted no content okay so just for me and my sanity i I don't fixate on that anymore but that is what I like to use so I'm just gonna really quickly look at this and kind of map out where I want things to be when is the last time I posted on Instagram y'all 
I know it's been a minute. Let's see when the last time I posted on Instagram is. Oh, Shaylin, it's almost been a month. Girl, what are you doing? Are you a content creator? Or you want to play games like sometimes you just got to talk to yourself like that like, do you want to be a content creator or do you want to play games like is this a hobby or do you want it to be a business like come on sis like let's let's get this back in motion let me play with this for a second and then i'll be back and show you guys y'all look at my new pop socket in my case it's so freaking cute i'll link it down below if you guys are interested um but i love a pop socket because this phone is so big like i cannot hold it unless i have a pop socket so makes my life so much easier now that y'all can see my feed layout kind of concept so this is the last post that i posted so this would be today's post that i'm actually going to prepare so that that can go live and it's actually perfect because in this one i'm kind of wearing like a sweatsuit and it's actually colder today in the dmv then i also want to take a flat lay of this image that way that one can be ready to go because i know what's going to go here then i'm going to go in with this reel then this is going to be something i'm not sure what exactly yet but this is going to be the cover image for probably a reel or something like that and then we have this one lastly the nice thing that i like about this app is that if you guys can see right here you can actually have placeholders so this row right here can change based on what these other pictures or real covers are going to be but i at least know that this row is going to stay the same and then this picture we're also adding as well so i'm super excited to go ahead and get back to posting on instagram and this way based on how i took this picture i know that in these two cover images or photos i don't want to be sitting with my legs crossed so i'm super excited and this is pretty much how i map out how i'm going to do my instagram content just to kind of give me an overview and an idea so i'm sure i look freaking crazy because i didn't really brush my hair this morning i literally just threw it up in a bun and went as you can see that's why it's like so frizzy but anyways i had such a busy day y'all so miss cleo she's a bougie girl okay she was supposed to be a affordable Okay, she was supposed to be real affordable. But every time I go take her to the dealership, I feel like I'm spending an arm and a leg. Like, how did I spend $378? I just went for an oil change. I'm just a girl. And yes, I'm pro taking my car to the dealership because I made a promise to myself, y'all, when I got this car that I was going to take care of her. I'm just going to take her to the dealership and make sure she got the best possible care. Okay, so I'm sticking to my word. But it's biting me in the you know what okay baby she's costing me some cute coins um but i wanted to update y'all because i did post on instagram funny thing is i was gonna postpone till tomorrow because i was like girl it's already too late it's not a good time to post but i said girl freaking all that like you just need to get back on the bandwagon you need to post so i did post it's not doing super great compared to like my last two posts i'm gonna show y'all real quick so my here's the post we posted today and then as you can see, my last post did pretty well and the post before that did pretty well. But that's just the name of the game, y'all. Some posts are going to perform really well. Some posts are going to flop. It is what it is at this point. Like, I really liked the content that I produced, so I'm going to post it. I don't care if it does well. I mean, of course, it's like when you put time and effort into something, you want it to do well. I'm trying to look at content from a different lens as opposed to looking at it, how others perceive it and how others respond to it. I want to look at it as, do I love this content? Did I enjoy making this content? And there's so many memories behind content, like the content I just posted. Me and Kayla shot content that day. We had a good day. We had a good time together. We laughed. We joked. We played. It was just a good time and a good vibe, and I really liked the content. So regardless of how it performs, I think it's super important that you love your content. That way, the numbers don't control your mood. I think when you're a content creator, it's very easy to let the numbers overcome you. And trust me, y'all, this happens to me all the time where I let the numbers go to my head, like literally let it go to my head. But you just have to stand strong in just knowing that your content has value. And sometimes it may take time for the right people to find your content, for the right people to resonate with your content, for the right people to become part of your community like it takes time good things take time y'all and I'm learning that on my content creator journey it's not easy y'all it's hard okay but girl just post the content don't worry about posting times don't worry about the best day to post don't worry about engagement don't worry about likes don't worry about shares just post content that you love and eventually eventually your people will find you now obviously there are some SEO techniques and things that you can do but I think sometimes when you focus too much on the seo you truly lose that passion of loving it because now you're not doing it because it's something you love you're doing it to see results you know what i mean i hope that makes sense 
But I am also trying to change my perspective on how I view my content, how I produce content, and just how I respond to content. You know what I mean? So I'm happy with this video. Let me show y'all real quick. Actually, I could put it on the screen, but you know. Like, what? Eight. Eight down. All I need is less than 10 seconds and I'm gonna eat you up, okay? Eat you up. But yeah, I love that content and I'm okay if it doesn't do well. And one thing I want you guys to know about content too, sometimes when you put content out at first, it may not do well, but do not delete it. I'm telling y'all, please do not delete it. There's so much content that I've put out that I've thought about deleting you guys and it literally has outperformed some of my greatest content so like an example like the first video I ever had to pop off was a skims video and I hated that video I hated how I looked in the video I just hated it I didn't really like it I didn't care for the quality and y'all when I first posted it it didn't do well it just sat and then out of nowhere you guys it started to take off and I feel like that's how a lot of you guys found my channel is through that skims shapewear review and that pretty much started this whole skims content on my channel a lot of you guys have found me from skims content Content. don't delete content just because it doesn't perform well right away okay i'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all if you are making evergreen content just because it doesn't perform well now doesn't mean it won't perform well in a month or six months or a year i'm telling y'all trust me that has happened to me so many times on all platforms it's happened to me on tiktok it's happened to me on instagram and it's happened to me on youtube so just leave your content up there look at it as a lesson learned look at it as something you love or look at how you could maybe do it better next time but do not i repeat do not delete your content okay because it doesn't perform well it doesn't have the views you like because you never truly know where that content is going to take you i'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all it is amazing how content can flop at first and then totally start to pick up like and go viral that's literally happened to me on tiktok literally happened to me on instagram and literally happened to me on youtube y'all so i just want to give y'all this tidbit just to know content isn't going to be always be perfect creating content isn't always going to be perfect sticking to a schedule is hard sticking to a plan is hard being consistent is hard okay but you just have to keep showing up and don't give up and when something doesn't work find something else that does y'all my way of clearly trying to plan content and editing isn't currently working for me and that doesn't mean i'm going to give up on content creation that just means i need to find another strategy that works well for me and just remember whatever works well for you might not work well for another creator so just keep that in mind you truly have to find your own workflow just like at your normal nine to five you have a workflow that works for you you have to find that workflow when it comes to content creating i wanted to put this video out here no it's not perfect and it's all over the place but that's how my real content life and in office work life is as a content creator and a nine to five girly i'm trying to still figure out the balance i'm still trying to figure out how to do both and how to not be burnt out and overwhelmed and still have a life but i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here i hope you guys learned something from this vlog my goal of this vlog is not to show you how to be the perfect content creator how to create the best content my goal is to show you guys that every content creator is different every content creator has ups and downs and just overall just don't give up y'all figure out what works for you and stick to it and if you haven't figured out what works for you that's okay girl just keep on trying but i love you babe so much and i'll see you in the next one bye